Hey guys, welcome back. Quick little video today on hard drive vibration. So what is hard drive vibration? Well, chances are you already know because you found this video. However, for those who don't know, it's what it sounds like when your hard drive vibrates. Now, this is almost always caused by a bad mount or a poorly designed mount on your case. However, in limited cases, it can even be a bad hard drive. So in that case, you will have to contact your manufacturer. However, I'll be showing you a quick, easy, simple fix for hard drive vibration if it's caused by the case and you have toolless mounts. So these are toolless hard drive mounts. If it's screwed in and it's still vibrating, then I don't know what to tell you. The case in question right now is the Cooler Master Master Box Light 5. And the hard drive in question is the Toshiba P300. So aside from that annoying sound, why is hard drive vibration even a problem? Well, in the long term, if the hard drive is vibrating enough, it can actually slowly damage itself because there are very fast spinning platters and needles inside your hard drive that reads the data. So excessive vibration can actually damage it. First things first, you have to locate your hard drive. Mine is right there, tangled in the bundle of cables just behind the rear side panel. So for starters, you must disconnect all the cables. Disconnect your SATA power and SATA data. From there, the hard drive can be removed. You can see that mine does not use any screws. It just pops right out. And that is why it's called a toolless mount. You don't have to use a screwdriver or anything. If your hard drive cage is screwed in, to your, I'm, I mean, sorry, if your hard drive mount is screwed into the hard drive cage on your PC case, then this fix probably won't work for you. This is only for the toolless mounts that slide in and out. So as you can see, there's an external cage that is attached to this hard drive that came with the PC. And that is how it is mounted into the actual case. However, that's not where our problem lies. Problem lies between the surface that the cage actually mates with the case of the PC. There's too much wiggle room. And what that allows is, well, obviously it allows it to vibrate. So to fix that, we're simply gonna install a rubber band, install, fancy, too fancy. Just add a rubber band around this cage, like so. All right, so now as you can see, we stretched rubber band around in a way where it's flat and smooth. Make sure it's not too thick and that it doesn't interfere with anything. So you wanna make sure that your case will work with this. So if the fit is already too tight and you just absolutely can't jam the case, the, I mean the cage back into the case, well then don't force it because you'll end up damaging something or it may even get stuck. But mine is fairly loose and that is why it's vibrating. So now we simply slot it back into the cage. Uh, this might be too hard to do on camera, hold on. All right, I got it back in. It will require some extra force because, well, now you're fighting the friction of the rubber band, but that is what is keeping the hard drive from vibrating. So now all you have to do is plug it back in. Here we got our SATA data. And our SATA power. Ooh, this is hard to do. <laughs> there it is. Then we can power the PC back on. And you're done. Although you probably can't tell a difference on video, I can assure you in real life there is a big difference. Thank you guys for watching. Hope this helped you. Leave any questions you have down below and I'll see you guys next time.